High in the Himalayas, entire villages lived under a strange shadow. People walked with an unseen burden, an illness no one could name. Necks swelled, children struggled in classrooms, families whispered in confusion. To them, it was fate or a curse. At village markets, the signs were everywhere. In some valleys, one in every four carried the same swelling, a nation scarred in plain sight. For families, it was more than a lump. Mothers weakened, children born vulnerable, lives cut short before they could begin. By the mid-20th century, goiter was no local curse. It was a national crisis stretching across 300 districts, crippling millions. In the 1940s, doctors began searching for answers. They collected samples, traced patterns, and uncovered a hidden deficiency. Iodine comes from the oceans, but in the Himalayan belt, centuries of floods had washed it from the soil. The land looked fertile, but the crops, water, and even milk carried almost none. Without iodine, the thyroid swells. Growth slows, energy fades, brains falter. The missing mineral was crippling an entire generation. The first solutions failed. Iodine oil injections were too costly. Pills were forgotten. Even iodized water plants collapsed. India needed a carrier so universal, so ordinary, it could reach everyone. In 1962, India launched a plan unlike any other. Not injections, not pills. A hidden revolution in the food system itself. Iodized salt, good for your health. Salt was chosen because it was universal, daily, invisible. By redesigning salt, India could redesign health. Factories retooled, supply chains re-engineered. From Gujarat's salt pans to Himalayan kitchens, iodine now traveled in every meal. But the new salt was met with suspicion. Villagers rejected it outright, leaving packets untouched. Rumors spread like wildfire. Iodized salt was poison, a government trick, something to be feared. Some states even banned iodized salt entirely. The cure itself was treated like a disease. By the 1980s, science fought back with stories. Streets filled with posters carrying a simple line, salt must have iodine. Television jingles turned kitchens into classrooms. Families learned that the cure was already in their food. In schools, children raised their hands to lessons on iodine. For the first time, the message was reaching the next generation. From radios to cinema halls, the campaign echoed across India. Salt was no longer just seasoning, it was survival. Today, iodized salt is part of every meal. Families eat without fear, children grow strong. In classrooms once marked by weakness, children now raise their hands with energy and confidence. India's salt revolution became a model for the world. Today, over two billion people are protected by iodized salt. The salt on your table is more than seasoning. It is the quiet medicine that saved millions.